gosh, my battery's gonna die. But look at this quality. Look at this quality. Look how fast it captured my face. I definitely had to look up settings for this, but check out my next YouTube video for that. <laughs> Today, I'll be reviewing the Canon G7X Mark II and doing an unboxing of all of its accessories. If you have any questions about the Canon G7X, comment down below and I'll give you tips. I also have a Canon T5i. I am a huge lover of Canon in general. All right, let's see what we got. So we got this box, two tripods. I actually got this before and then I ordered this big guy recently. So let's go through it. Currently filming on my iPhone 11. So change up on quality. Still good nonetheless, I guess. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Bars. Let's unbox. Oh, this is how the camera looks, by the way. It's very cute. Very small, dainty. Perfect for vlogging. As soon as you turn it on, the lens expands. You can move the camera. Um, whatever this is called, you can move it adjustable. It's kind of weird how you can't flip it, but you can kind of... Oh yeah, well, you can definitely do this to show yourself. I got this ultra protection screen protector. Wow, this actually comes with three different screen protectors that I will be putting on my camera. Yeah, the fingerprints are so dirty. So I did a wipey to wipe. Now I have a wipey to dry. I think I already scratched the screen. Yeah, I would definitely recommend you buying a screen protector as soon as you get this because I've only had it for a little bit and it's already scratched up. Granted, I am clumsy. So now that that's all cleaned, gonna take the sticky side. Perfecto. I also bought lithium ion battery. So there's two different batteries and a singular charger. I already had a charger that came with the camera. I lied. No, I just bought a charger with a singular battery. And if you're gonna be vlogging or just using this camera in general, I recommend having at least two batteries, minimum. Like minimum. Because the batteries run out quickly, you kind of forget to charge them. Always have a backup. Even if you're using your iPhone at this point, have a power bank because it will save you. This is how the charger looks. You plug into the wall like this. It's a singular charger. I wish I would have bought the one with two, but oh, this is different. It like, you can attach right here and it turns into a car charger. Oh, wow, this is amazing. I went to Italy. I didn't know they had different pluggy things. And this is for the one in the UK. So you just attach it. Eee! This is a lifesaver if you're doing travel vlogging. Definitely recommend this. It's BM Premium. Forget what I said about the two pack, like I needed this. I'll show you how the battery looks. It comes in a little case. That's how the battery looks and it comes in a plastic thing to keep it from exploding, I guess. Fun fact, I ordered a mic at first and I was like, this doesn't work. It doesn't attach to anything. I don't know where to put it. Then I realized you had to order like two other parts. So I returned the mic for no reason and reordered it. But it's okay, we live, we learn, and now we're here. These are the three things. Microphone with my Canon. Yeah, you can't just buy a mic nowadays. Comes with a little screwdriver, okay. There's no direction, so it should be easy. I'm definitely popping this later. Mm. You look at the bottom the screw goes in that little screw thing take this and screw it on in tight but not too tight because you don't want to scratch it or so it damages the screw bit that was easy easy hood <laughs> pun not really but whatever take this out of the packing oh it gives me a two-year warranty that's always good let me actually sign up for that leather case it has a fl fluffy thing it doesn't smell bad I don't know why I had the urge to smell it did it come with the adapters so did I buy this for no reason all right the first one I bought definitely didn't have all this stuff yeah so you're supposed to snap it on in like that if I ordered the wrong mic for the second time 
I don't know how to do my research. The microphone thing is right there, by the way. And it doesn't have that, so I guess I needed... Oh, so I didn't order this by accident. Because everything requires adapters. It's kind of like annoying how long it is, but whatever. Oh. Oh, it's on the side. <laughs> I knew that. So you put it on the side like that. It just slides in onto the mount and then you twist it to tighten it. Oh, that's not what you do. Yeah, you do twist it to tighten it. <laughs> well, I put it upside down. Wow, look at that. And now it's all here. I don't like all this stuff. So what I'm gonna use is the thing it came with. Bunch it all together again. And tighten it. I am so excited to see if this audio actually works because my biggest issue with all my YouTube videos is unfortunately the audio. Hello guys, this is the difference between audio. You can't really see what's happening here. Let's move it towards me since the camera is now facing me. How does the audio sound? All right, let me like act like I'm whispering. Hello, hello, I am whispering. Is it picking me up? Wow, this is actually for my phone. This is actually for my phone. Well, I guess I can't use this, but if you wanted a phone thingamajigger, this is what I have. To put your phone in the car for navigations and also for recording. It doesn't say that you can record because, you know, legally, that's not okay. So I got this from Target when I first got the camera because I was so eager to shoot and I needed a tripod ASAP. It's a 50 inch aluminum tripod with three way pan and tilt head. It has a 360 feature and it has a leveler. This leveler is really cool. I like that feature a lot and it has a handle. It's a basic tripod. It snaps at the bottom, but it kind of always moves. So you have to make sure it's grounded. So it doesn't like stay there. You know how some tripods, once it snaps, it stays there, it doesn't. You have to make sure it is expanded all the way out for it to stay. This is how tall it gets. It's not sturdy at all. It's very flimsy and I feel like it wouldn't last me long, especially if it's windy. It has fallen in some of my videos. It's on the grass. <laughs> if you're just filming in your house, it's not a bad investment. It does the job. It's not a bad tripod. It's just not the best. But for me, I do a lot of outdoor shoots and I'm going to probably be vlogging outside, even at the gym. And if anyone knocks into it, I want it to be sturdy. I invested in this. Oh, it's kind of heavy. This bad boy. His name is Jolly Khan. I feel like I should put my glasses on, but we're not going to do that right now. Aluminum dies finish tripod gives you further stability and vibration reduction nice now you're carrying a full-size tripod with professional capabilities precise control and create masterpieces i know there's a whole bunch of periods and stuff and i did not read that correctly but what it says it's a versatile lightweight sturdy enough and compact travel compared to the other one it's not that lightweight at least not in the box i love buying myself gifts because it's fun to open things bro it comes in this yeah it already has me sold I love it already. It comes in a freaking case. This is perfect. Now, I've been using a duffel bag, the tripod and the mount and screws. Got mine in orange. It's an 80 inch. It's a five year warranty. Love that. Quick release plate, ball head, center column, center column, locking knob, angle locking knob, sponge grip, lead tube, counterweight hook. Oh my God, it has a hook so I can hang my stuff on it. That's so dope. They probably will make it not blow away. That's amazing. Flip lock and rubber foot. Oh, those rubber foots are going to be amazing. It's going to help with stability for sure. So this is what I was looking at. There's a user manual. I didn't expect it to be that much in the user manual, I guess, because this one only had 
a picture of it but this is this one costs about $60 I want to say $73 I thought it was worth it because I mean it's worth it so the rubber foot fell but do you see this I guess so if I want to put it in the ground maybe or maybe I'm tripping I don't know I love the way this feels like even the movement is so smooth and then it's like <laughs> sorry I'm playing with it but like it's rubber and yeah this feels way more sturdy like let's look at the smallest leg literally even the smallest leg is thick let's see if I can extend it out and show you on here oh, oh my god the abs came in crutch but way longer than the other one I mean it is an 80 inch compared to a 50 inch this is nice wait whoa it folds in it has a leveler too and this one's like a little cute circle Hold on. It has like the i don't know it has inches tightness and lodge whoa this is very cool tools can someone help me i hate doing tool things this might be an, this is an extra these are all extras and in case anything breaks they just give you tools but this i don't know what it is what the heck is this thing oh wow so these orange tabs are to adjust so I can adjust it out and have it locked just like this and then I press down on it and move it down so if I wanted to I can literally have it flat like this is if you unscrew this top this part right unscrew it 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 wait I don't think I was supposed to unscrew that part well I found the hook thingy it's underneath do you see that I did arms today and it hurts guys I don't know what they and some sticky stuff is coming out of it I don't think I was supposed to unscrew this part something sticky's all over my hand oh there's another one right here Oh, so maybe I was supposed to just unscrew one. Wait, it extends even more. <laughs> it extends even more with this part. I don't think this was supposed to happen. There's like these plastic things that came out of it. I'm gonna just try to put that plastic stuff right back in. Am I gonna already have to use a five year warranty? I just got this thing. Bro, <laughs> why does nothing go right when I do these things? Oh my god, it's sticky. I was... No, you're supposed to do this. Maybe those plastic things are meant to come out. Remove the load by taking the hook on the... Don't know what just happened. That was the monopad conversion. Oh! I remember seeing this in the review! I should have actually really, like, researched this stuff before I did my own maybe okay so you take this off first and then you unscrew it but I don't think you, you only unscrew it a little bit you don't have to unscrew the whole thing and it comes off and it's like a mono thing so you can just hold it yeah so you take off the little hook thing and then it just slides off you don't have to damn I have sticky hands now <laughs> You put the hook thing on and then you screw it in. But how do you screw it in now? Hold on. Oh, you just, yeah, simple, simple. I just complicated the hell out of that for no reason. Well, that was, this is my thumbnail moment. <laughs> um, yeah, so my name is Bella Young. Press subscribe. I think I have an outro video coming out here. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my videos down below. Um, I have a lot of content and I just upgraded my equipment. So my content is going to get better because, you know, we're always growing. We're always progressing, moving forward, taking this step by step. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe. I need them subscribers. I just hit 100 not too long ago and I'm on my way to 1,000. Yep, step by step. <laughs> This was more stressful than it needed to be, and now I have to go wash my hands.
please blah, 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 please you gotta make money to spend money you know i'm talking so fast i apologize you know one thing about me is i'm horrible at reading directions guys i'm kind of impatient oh i guess it's a car charger that is dope as hell my ring light broke a while ago and i just use it as a lamp thingy but it's okay and i'm using flash on my camera right now so we're gonna upgrade the lighting equipment